Hey YouTube, this is Dallas from East Texas State Liquidators coming to you with your tip of the week. Today's tip of the week goes over vintage magazines. I bought this big group of magazines at a local flea market. I paid $8 for this lot. And let me just get into it and show you what I got and uh, what makes them valuable and why I picked them up. First, we've got some uh, auction catalogs. These are This one here is from 1970 on English Continental Furniture. Uh, this one is on Georgian and Regency furniture and decorations. This one's from 1956. And uh, this one here is from 1970. It's on uh, 19th century sculpture. All these have wonderful uh, photographs to help collectors figure out what they have, maybe uh, where it's sold in the past. And then it also goes over a good description of everything that they had in that particular auction. And then all of these also had the sales results. So these magazines or brochures, catalogs, sell for about 10 bucks on the open market. And uh, I think I'll do well. This here is a upside down Sears and Roebuck wallpaper catalog from the 1950s. It's got all this beautiful samples of wallpaper, uh, a lot of hand painted stuff. Um, really, really nice wallpaper, and uh, people who would collect this or buy this are going to be your collectors of uh, vintage catalogs, as well as crafters, or people who maybe are looking at uh, doing a redesign on their house and want to get some ideas of uh, wallpaper that would be period specific. Uh, this is a cool find. I expect to get somewhere around 15 bucks for that. Next, we've got some Western Horseman magazines. Uh, people collect these for the cover art and uh, actually frame them up, put them on their walls. Really cool western themes on these. Uh, I've got a couple of them here. That one there is from 1960. This one's from 1959. Uh, this one's a Christmas issue. Uh, really cool stuff. I get somewhere around 10 bucks for those. Then we got some Flying Age magazines. These are from the mid 1940s. Uh, this one's got a really cool military aircraft on the cover. Uh, then we've got some civilian aircraft. People who purchase these and buy these are usually uh, aviation collectors, sometimes military people. Uh, I get about $10 for those. Uh, this here is a Miss Kansas pageant brochure catalog or uh, program. Uh, it would have been really cool if Miss Kansas would have won Miss America in 1989. It would have made it a little bit more valuable. But still, you got a lot of Miss America collectors, and even people who collect just strictly Kansas stuff would be interested in this. I expect to get somewhere around $10 for that. Then we've got some uh, automotive magazines. This is Motor Trend from 1955, Top Cars in 1955. Auto Age, amazing electric cars. So even back in the 1950s, they were thinking about electric cars. And then we've got uh, 1956 Road Test, and uh, it goes over all the models that were available in 1956 and uh, gives you a brief overview of all of them. And then we've got a carding magazine. This one is uh, 1960. We've got Rod and Custom, Bonneville Salt Flats, and then a Rod and Custom with uh, some dragster stuff on the front. All those uh, automotive magazines, I expect to get somewhere between eight and ten dollars a piece. And then these are holiday magazines, and why I buy these are for the ads. They've got all these beautiful ads. I mean, there's one there for a, a Dodge Dart, you know, and you can cut these up, make uh, you know good wall hangers, things that will look pretty on your wall. You know, there's a whiskey ad some heritage furniture, there's a Chrysler Corporation ad. So uh, people who buy these usually chop them up. I'm going to chop these up and uh, put them in some frames and I'm going to sell them at my local flea market. Uh, probably get about 10 or 15 ads out of each magazine and you know I'll get about five dollars an ad for those. So these magazines will turn from a dollar purchase into uh, you know a decent amount of money. But uh, magazines are cool, a lot of history inside of them. You can uh, even make some money on them. So uh, I just wanted to share what I'm doing here and a tip of the week. And I appreciate you guys watching and checking out what we have going on over here. If you like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks a lot.